the problem that we're missing is spirituality. People don't forgot about that. Like no one grows up literally being fearful of God anymore. Islam did not start with Prophet Muhammad. Please get it out of your head. Because in actuality, we are gods. We create life, we whatever. And if you want to be better for yourself. And I'll tell you what, I'm really excited. The Dean Center is becoming a reality. Allahu Akbar, pulling the resources together, making this dream a reality. A mega dawah center in the United States. Allahu Akbar. This is the future and it's happening. We've got the location, but now we got to get the work going. We got to build the masjid. We got to build the dawah center. We need you to donate now, not for me, not for Eddie, but for that masjid, for that house of Allah that Allah would be worshiped in. We need to build that dawah center where people can come from across the world and come and get trained in how to give dawah and non-Muslims can come and learn about Islam. We got to get this done. Everybody donate, let's do this together. It's happening. Allahu Akbar. There is none greater than the Assalamu alaikum, greens of peace. Welcome to the Dean Show. I'm your host and my next guest, psychology counselor, educational consultant, media presenter, and much more. We got a lot to talk about here. And you're welcome to listen in to our conversation, which we're going to be discussing many relevant things. Heard of Logan Paul, you heard of Akon. Why are you talking about them, Eddie? Well, stick around and you'll find out. And Michael Jackson, yes, Michael Jackson too. Here on the Dean Show with my brother Gabriel El Romani. Not Romario, El Romani. <laughs> And his final messenger is Muhammad Peace be upon him This is our religion, Islam, Islam This is the Deen Show Do I love you, Mashallah, all the work that you're doing When I was ready to talk about it, I would only talk to you guys And I was explaining how much respect I have for the faith of Islam Welcome to the Deen Show The Deen Show Assalamu alaikum. How you doing, brother? Alhamdulillah. How you been? Allah is the most kind. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Missed you, bro. You too, my brother. Alhamdulillah. You been? Uh, have you been to Romania recently? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Just uh, in the summer, in June. Yeah. Did you get to see our brother Tate? I did it. No, I was trying to reach out to him, but yeah. it's, uh, I guess he was still in house arrest and he was not receiving people. So. So where he's in. Andrew's in uh, Budapest? No, he's around Bucharest, somewhere Bucharest, around that area. Bucharest. Yeah, around the capital. So. Where are you from in Romania? No, I'm from Transylvania, from Transylvania. northern middle side, yeah. Transylvania, that has to be connected with, uh, <laughs> what's the guy who was doing the um, Dracula? Dracula, Vlad Dra 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 So how far is that city from where he's at? Yeah, it's it's a bit far. It's a bit far. But I've been to it. I was in, in his vicinity. I was in the capital. Yeah. What, what's the latest with, do you know anything what's going on? Now I know he's outside of the house arrest. He's, out, he's, still on, he's, out, uh, he's outside of house arrest now. I think he's outside of house arrest, but he cannot leave Romania. Yeah. He's still got some restrictions, right? Uh -huh. yeah. How is Romania in general? Is How's the Muslim population there? Is it growing? How is How are people, are they more receptive now since Andrew Tate accepted Islam or... Yeah, no doubt about it. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Without a doubt, see these things, everything happens for a reason, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can guide a person through a stop sign, you know? Yeah. You stop there and you see a masjid on your right side and you go, you know, and you go in the masjid and you take it there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, we went to uh, play some pool at yeah. uh, the masjid. <laughs> there's, there's pool tables at masjid, probably the people think, uh, there isn't uh, anything for the community. So we went to play pool and then we entered and someone said, yo bro, there's uh, this uh, family, they have this lady who wants to, who's interested in Islam. Yeah. So I think I spent like five minutes, seven minutes just explaining the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, Shahada, boom, that's it. Yeah. I mean, we were just, didn't plan to go there, bro. Like Allah just connected that meeting to her being there, me flying in, I mean, coming, sorry, from from Canada and before from England and that's it that's how how things work bro that's how, that's how it works huh that's amazing I mean just to sit with I would just uh, I had uh, a Greek brother Hamza Zorsis you know mm -hmm. him Hamza. he's Greek um, yourself Romanian my family from Bosnia and it's amazing every time you see all these different nationalities colors 
Islam doesn't discriminate. Islam Welcome to all. It's the way of life for human beings. It's the solution to all of humans, humanity's problems. Mm -hmm. Solution to racism, to discrimination, to all these differences, all the ills and all the problems that the world is complaining. NATO, UNESCO, UNICEF, <laughs> everyone who's complaining world hunger, poverty, uh, addictions, wars, Islam is the solution. Pick every single problem. I challenge everyone. Go and do a bit of research. What are the 20, 30 plans? What are they trying to eradicate and all that? Sit and think and do some research in Islam. You'll find that there's a solution for all these things in Islam, right? Mm -hmm. So every kind of addiction, it's haram in Islam, isn't it? Uh, poverty, you have zakah and sadaqah. All these things for all the issues, uh, health, and you have fasting, you have moderation, everything. There's, Islam is a solution to all the problems. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely. And someone sent me this, and I said, hey, have a look at it because uh, Akon, he's a Muslim. Mm. And I had a look at it, and I said, I mean, this can open up to a nice discussion here. Um, right. So I thought you'd be the person who's best fit for the job. You also come from a background, Christian background, at the same time. And you've been a Muslim for a long, long time. I remember one of I had uh, our earlier shows we did. Remember that? It's like 16, 17 years ago almost. Yeah. Something like that. A long time. Yeah. A long time. Did you have or I had long hair at that time? I or think you did. I did. Yeah, you did at that time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. SubhanAllah. <laughs> okay. So let's get right into this. We'll unpackage this and um, and let's see where the conversation goes. Inshallah, yeah. this can be a very educate. I promise this could be a very educational, enlightening discussion based off them kicking it off it'll be a catalyst for that inshallah let's check it out the problem that we're missing is spirituality people don't forgot about that like no one grows up literally being fearful of god anymore so they some people don't even know it exists right they don't they they want to believe it but to them in their minds there's no signs physically that tells them that religion or spirituality is real because now it's about seeing, tasting, feeling, and... The five senses. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. But I grew up differently. And to answer your question before I go into the spiritual side is that... Let's stop right there before we continue on. What do you think about the first part? Uh, it was interesting. I want to commend him from coming out and even, you know, opening up the door to talk about, because on a lot of these programs, maybe people are scared to even bring up God, bring up Allah, bring up Islam, or any right. which way. So... Uh, what do you think about this statement, the first one that he opened up? People don't fear God, don't, there's no spirituality, this, that, and the other. Right, I mean, that's kind of something that, linking to your first question about Andrew Tate, that's something that he said as well, that what attracted him to Islam was he felt that, like, in other systems, there's no fear of God anymore, mm. right? And if you look at it, when you talk to your average non-Muslim, they always talk just about love, love of God, God loves you. It's all about love, love will win, love always wins. When upon analysis of that statement and contextualizing, contextualizing all the world problems, you find that no, actually love is not the solution. A wife who loves you might cheat on you. Mm -hmm. A husband who loves his wife might cheat on her. Love is not everything. It's fear and fear the repercussions, consequences, that's going to hold someone actually from moving past that level or that you know border now love is important don't get me wrong it is important and in many cases it will work but when love fails there has to be something else you cannot rely on it upon love a bird doesn't fly with one wing it needs two wings to fly and that's why Muqayim says like love and uh, love and uh, ho uh, fear All right it's between love and fear that's how you're going to balance it out. So, yes, spirituality is important, and I believe fear is extremely important because you need to realize that there are limits. You need to realize that God can punish you. God can uh, put certain things in your life that are going to cause a lot of problems if you don't fear Him. So, I think spirituality today because of world religions and all these new age religions it's all about wow it's so nice look at whatever you feel it's all based on your feelings and everyone's making up their own religion right now everyone even though they claim that they adhere to a certain system when you examine that claim versus let's say their book 
uh, you find that it's a it's a mix or some kind of pseudo uh, connection to that, and not a real connection, whoever it is, right? So it's important to understand spirituality is not only about spirituality, love, and feeling in some connection, and it's about actually knowing that there's consequences to every action, and at least, at least. People can be honest that, hey, even if you can't do it or you can't fear God, right? At least don't change things. Don't try to justify things. Don't try to twist it around so it fits your narrative. That's it, right? At least, hey, I'm not fearing God. I'm pretty messed up, but I'm not going to change where the limits are. I think this is very important to, when you look at these people, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, actually, with what's going on with now a lot of, superstars and a lot of people who are not qualified to speak about Islam talk about Islam mm -hmm. for the youth they're like whoa man did you hear Ekon he talked about Islam man whoa right yo did you hear Andrew Tate talk about Islam man whoa you know but what can happen is that now you might not understand that okay they're talking about Islam but are they an authority on Islam no and can they lead you to follow correct Islam? Yes, indeed. Many people, for example, took Shahada from Andrew Tate converting. Uh, Romanians open up their mind about Islam because Andrew Tate is there. So many people, including my, my brother, who is not a Muslim, you know, the younger one. I met with him in England and he's, you know, he's like early 20s now. And he started like talking about masculinity and Islam and this and that from Andrew Tate. Right, but before it no, wasn't working. it was so hard for me to even bring that the actually, topic. That actually opened the door. So He's hard. the one who started talking to me about <laughs> it, right? He's the one who started talking. Bro, you see, Andrew Tate, whoa, Islam, he converted, blah, this, that, and I was like, okay. And I waited for like years to now start, you know. And this was it. This was the catalyst that was able to open up the conversation. Wow. However, is that enough for a person? Like, if they convert to Islam because of any of these guys, right? It could pr cause problems. I mean, alhamdulillah. I hope they convert, but is that where it ends? And it seems for a lot of people that it's like trendy mm. now. And we have to be careful with trends because Andrew Tate converted Islam. I'm going to convert to Islam and I'm so attached to this personality. What if this personality messes up, mm -hmm. which is a very, very Good possible. <laughs> then what's going to happen to me? Mm -hmm. This is the issue. But hey, he makes a good point. I think Christian America, Christian West be them practicing or not practicing, atheists, whatever, but specifically Christian. I think they need to really pay attention to this aspect, the fear of God. I think they focus too much on love and now it's led them into an extreme where they've corrupted themselves. They've corrupted their lifestyle and they need to come back to, to some fear to balance it out. Islam has the perfect balance. You gave the example from one of the great scholars. What is it? The head, the love is the head, the driving force, and then one wing is, is hope fear and, and fear. fear. Yeah. It's a balance. Yeah, hope and fear. And, and we see this, so they'll say God is love and love, 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 but then what's stopping you from committing all these sins? That's the fear, the repercussion, what you're talking about. Exactly. You, you, you'll see this like when a, when a child, when he comes home and the mother is more merciful in love, but then he's like trampling all over her a lot of times but right. then the father steps up that's right gets him on the phone even if he's there not there but just hearing his voice yeah. the fear kicks in right that's right and this is the balance that allah god has created mm -hmm. and god is not love god is the most loving god is the most loving god is not loved and that's where they make a mistake because they think god is love god is this what does all that mean things. like when you unpackage that what, exactly god what is, does that mean right so god is the most loving this, this is an attribute but also god is the, the one who punishes Right, and God is the most merciful, and God is the most this. And there's so many 99 beautiful attributes and names mm -hmm. that we encourage people to really look yeah. into, which is a beautiful thing. Yes. So they really understand God. They don't make just these statements, well, God is a love. And then other people say, God is hate. How come he created, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jahannam, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? hell? Yeah. How come he's going to send people to hell? He hates people. He's hate, right? It's horrible. And people see, but like, God, God hates you, right? They'll have signs, but like God hates you and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's you need to understand who is God. That's why theology, monotheism, tawhid, what we call aqidah, is so important. You know, it literally answers the question to that main question that has, I guess, you know, has been around for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Like, who is God? What is God? You know, philosophers 
human beings, everyone, whether they like to believe or not. Atheist, agnostic, whoever, everyone has it in their brain. They discuss it, they debate it, they write books for it or against it. Mm -hmm. It's the most talked about topic in the world, God. Yes. Because that's how he created it. Everyone feels it. Whether they're against it or for it, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. The fact is that that's what concerns them the most. Yes. Yeah. Let's go ahead and continue on. So we got that out of the way. We got this one. So you're already learning something. The correct balance here, love, fear, and hope. You're in between these now, right? You don't go to one or the other. That's it. The bird's going to crash. Exactly. And they represented it. So if I woke up, you know, as a Muslim, I had to go to pray every Friday with my pops. It happened. It was not a question. You had to go do it. Today you have a choice. You know, like my wife, she's Christian. I never forced her to convert. Because in the way I was taught in Africa, I mean, Islam is an extension of Christianity. We Absolutely. believe everything. Absolutely. We, we actually believe all the same thing. We From just don't believe Testament. in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's the only thing. But everything else is all the same. Same commandments, same stories. Jesus is a prophet. We, we all believe the same, right? The only problem was that you have people that, okay, when you go into paganism and, you know, worshiping statues and everything else, we just don't believe that there's no one or anything higher than the most high, which is God. And no man should ever be looked at as God himself. We are all messengers of God. We're all messiahs to our own extent. And so that's the conflict with that's Jesus. That's the conflict with Jesus. We right. don't believe that Jesus was God in man's flesh. Yep. We yep. don't. We, right. don't. we just believe that he was a messenger of God as the messiah. Yep. So we're not that far off. Right. You follow? <clears throat> so yep. it, it, it becomes a situation where there's so many different religions now. But when you think about it, we're all going to the same place. We're all literally worshiping the same, you know, God. We just translation by language or by anything. We just call them something different. But when you really look at religion, we all have the same commandments. We all have the same stories. It might be told by a different person or a different name attached to that story, but the story don't change. Maybe the characters may change from a standpoint of the name they call them. But in actuality, you know, my grandfather told me something that was super, super. I think you can maybe understand why I wanted to discuss this now yeah. why this was because there's a lot to unpackage here right there's a lot to unpackage yeah um there's some and again you know i would i would commend uh akon for even talking uh representing as a muslim but but there's some things here that we can adjust correct what do you think um for, let's start from when he's opening up uh so he said something about on the long lines of um this one as 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 Muslims, I go to uh, only on Friday. Fridays. <laughs> so Christians go on Sunday, Muslims yeah. go on Friday. Uh, Islam is an extension of Christianity. <laughs> right, this is the first problem. We believe in everything except the Holy Ghost. So there's a lot to unpackage here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you're not, uh, yeah, so wh what do you? Right, so the big mistake is that Islam is not an extension of Christianity. Christianity is a deviation from Islam. Islam has always existed. So think about it as a, from the beginning of time, when God created the angels, he created them to be in submission to the creator without any ability to fall out of that. Okay, there's no fallen angels. There's no, they don't make mistakes. They've always, since their creation, they've been worshiping God. That, it basically means Islam. Then God created, you know, obviously the jinns are there, which are the spirits. And then the human beings were created. Okay, the human beings and the spirits have the choice. The angels don't have the choice. Okay, the angels are Muslim. Muslim means the one who submits to the Creator. Okay, so think about it as like, and Walillahi al Mathal al to Allah belongs the best of examples, it's just for maybe for the sake of argument, as this continuous line. Okay, there's a beginning. Okay, when God created, let's say, human beings and angels before that and the jinn and the system that he accepts from them is to be in submission okay and that line continues till the day of judgment when everything perishes except for Allah because he is the one the beginning the end the first the last the one who is not created you know he creates he's not created there is no one like him that's this line. In this line, that's Islam 
perfect, the most beautiful, the most, no one can ever, you know, come up with something like this because it's from the creator. With time, there's these sidelines that have ramifications from it, okay? And these are the deviations. And that's what the Prophet ﷺ drew a, sand, a line in the sand. And he said, this is the path of, you know, of tr the straight path. It's, then he drew some lines and said, this is uh, Subul al shaitan This is the path of the devil, right? And I know people get upset. They'll say, are you calling Christianity the path of the devil? Well, in reality, it is that. <laughs> because it is such a deviation from the truth. To, where, to which God says in Surah Maryam, in chapter 19, and I encourage people to read that, chapter 19, the chapter of Mary, the mother of Jesus, not the mother of God, <laughs> the mother of Jesus, where God says that by the statement of saying, وَقَالُوا اتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ وَلَدَ They say Allah has begotten a son. That This is a very, very major statement that this, the sky is about to break and the earth is about to split. This is not something like, oh yeah, it's just, Right? So I know people get upset, but you know, in the end, the Christians, they believe the Muslims are going to hell, isn't it? So don't be upset, you know? We're just discussing, <laughs> right? We're just debating. Yes, you believe that Satan has misguided us and we're going to hell, right? This is the path of Satan. So don't be upset if we say the same thing to you, right? The question that people have to ask, who's right? Who's correct? So this perfect line, the deviations, all the religions, Christianity from Christ, Judaism from Judea, Hinduism from Hind, and Taoism from Tao, always related to something. Islam is the concept of submission. For what? To achieve peace, to have that inner peace. Human beings are always looking for some kind of inner self-actualization, and you'll never achieve that till you follow this beautiful straight line. In this straight line, there's different stations so the first station was adam then noah then other prophets abraham noise moses jesus muhammad is the last station okay before the day of judgment okay all of them said the same thing one god one god there's no one worthy of worship different rules times were different things you know this is normal clear but there was always one constant. God is one. Never did it change. So anyone who changed these things, they basically deviated from that beautiful, perfect Sirat al-Mustaqim, straight mm -hmm. line. Sirat al-Mustaqim is the straight path. And anyone who went away from it, they deviated. They're wrong. They're subul shaitan It's not me. This is what the Prophet said. These are the paths of the devil. Don't be upset. You should be worried. You should, it should make you want to listen and do a bit more research to what we're saying right now. Don't take, don't believe you and don't believe me. Why should they believe us? I actually asked them not to believe us. But consider what we're saying enough for you to go and do a bit more research, such as, for example, read the Quran, mm -hmm. right? Such as watch a few more Dean shows, such as maybe read this book, such as do a bit more research. Maybe visit your local masjid and talk to an imam. Talk to a Muslim that you know. Do a bit more. Don't just, you know, oh, bro, this guy spoke about Christianity. Look at this guy. Let's cancel him. No, think. Use your brain. We're not here with malicious intent to insult you. Oh, this, these devils. No, no, no. To make you worried. We care. If we don't care, who cares? We don't have to do the show, bro. We can go and have food and chill and relax. Why are you, waste, why are you, try, why are you going? You know, people don't understand that we want to guide them. We want to help them. Well, guidance from Allah. Yeah. But we want to help them. We want to give them the message. So keep that perfect line. I challenge everyone. Go study from the Bible, from whatever. You'll always find that monotheism. And you'll find that people deviating their differences and their systems were always the paths that have gone away. So Islam is not an extension of Christianity. The Christianity and all the religions that you know that exist is a deviation from the path, the straight path. Islam did not start with Prophet Muhammad. Please get it out of your head. Please do a bit of research. It never starts. It's a concept. It does. It's not Muhammadism. 
There's no sorry. I know some of the Orientalists try to call it Mohammedism in an attempt to try to equate it to Christianity, Judaism, and all the other things too. Because they knew that if people understand that Islam is a concept, we're you know we're in trouble. People are gonna leave. And people indeed, when they understand that Islam is a way of life in a system, they do leave their systems and they come to Islam. Mm -hmm. How many people convert to Islam? Be them rappers, be them scholars be it Gerald Dirks, be it Lawrence Brown, be it, you know, academics, you know, you don't see a, a Muslim scholar converting to Buddhism or something like, wallah, you don't find it, yeah. you don't see it converting to Christianity. Maybe there'll be one, an exception here in the whole thousand years or something like that. But look at the history, how many of the top scholars and theologians who convert to Islam. Recently, there was one upset of that one priest I think it was here in America. Was it from the pr pr Catholic or the uh, Orthodox, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. parish, church? Big, big, huge thing, Achi. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it, that's, that is that what you're talking about? The um, yeah, the big uh, bishop or the something. Bishop, yeah. The, yeah, huge. And not this, not one. Achi, this is not an exception. How many? Mm -hmm. How many of the? This people? is a repeating occurrence. It's not just a one-off. It's not a one-off. Yeah, thing. people need to consider. Yeah, so don't take things now to the heart. A lot of time, it's like you're about to get the injection. It hurts. I mean, and that the medicine is, is is in there. So look at it like this is the truth being delivered. Evaluate it, uh, investigate it. Don't just reject it right away just because you've invested a lot of emotion. That's kind of natural, right? Yeah. But when that wears off, when the emotions settle down, just That's think, it. ponder. That's so it. this is incorrect. We're trying to uh, help our brother Akon. We helping him out. So next time, right. he can give better dawa. So it's it's good that he affirms that he's Muslim, yeah. but then as I said, it's a double-edged sword because now people are thinking that this is Islam. And yeah. trust me, people are going to listen to him because he's cool. It, and this yeah. is a huge problem. Yeah. And they're not going to listen to sometimes to a scholar who maybe is not so cool and he's talking in a certain way. Yeah. The youth are going to listen to him. And we're like, yo, bro, Akon said that Islam is this. Woohoo, you know, we're all cool, we're all the same, just different characters, the story's told different, but it's all the same. Yeah. It's not all the same. So that's an incorrect statement. Very incorrect. That uh, Islam is not an extension of Christianity and the other part that we believe in everything except the Holy Ghost. No, that is not correct, right? There's we, no, this is not a, a difference of opinion, or this is, no, this is mainstream. This is what you're talking about, right. uh, what we're talking about. This is like Yeah, the whole belief. Holy Ghost, and this is the concept of the Trinity. Yeah. that has been developed after the council and I see I mean it was around but that's when they solidified it um, you're talking about many councils that have taken place mm -hmm. to reach at what theologically people believe in Christianity today and I encourage people to do a quick research just a quick research yeah. all the Christian councils and what were the issues that were discussed you're talking so, about major issues yeah because if you break it down what do you mean a extension of the trinity because if if we're talking about modern day christianity that's what it is uh that's crucifixion right. trinity so is akon saying i mean he made a mistake hopefully yeah. he'll take this as a um uh, as something good that we're helping him out here so next time he can give better dawah and do it properly um inshallah and from here so if you're saying if you're breaking this down so what is it it is an extension of now this modern day christianity that we have of crucifixion of trinity yes i mean if you if you look uh deeper into the beginnings right or what about is it ex what happened because at the time of jesus there was no christianity there was no, right? Christianity. There was no christianity jesus was ethnically a jew mm -hmm. ethnically okay and it's a lot of jews also sometimes they don't tell you that judaism is it's not you know they made it into a religion they're just ethnically jews like Arabs. Arab is not a religion. You have Arabs, you have Jews, you have different ethnicities. You know, you have, it's not uh, a religion. The, the the followers of Moses, what we call Bani Israel, and coming from Israel, from Jacob, yes, Prophet Jacob, uh, they're Muslim. They were Muslim as long as they followed Prophet Moses correctly. Yes. So it was on the straight line, right? It was one of but those you, stations for, on the for straight people, line. You, you gotta, when people hear the definition, then it makes sense. Because when they hear Submission Muslim, to God. So if you say it like that, they were ones who did submission to the will of God. Exactly. Now and, you understand. And followed exactly. what the prophet that was at that time, i.e. Moses at the time, brought the details. Moses, Aaron, prophet Aaron, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, prophets that came in that line of prophets. They brought the law. They worshipped only one God. If you follow it, them, you were a submitter, i.e. a Muslim. Translation. Because people get caught up in semantics. Yeah. In words, right? Translations. So when you explain it, 
And people will be like, no, but that doesn't make sense. But it's a submission. You mean you're following and you're obeying God, right? So those who follow Jesus were Muslim, i.e. submission and submission. And those who follow Abraham, it's all, that's what's beautiful about submission, about Islam, right? It's not an ethnicity. It is a concept. Anyone who just ponders a little bit over this point, they will say that it makes sense. You don't have to agree with me, mm -hmm. but don't tell me that it doesn't make sense. It's like if you take a, a modern day word, they, they might have not heard, but the concept, they were human. Right. They were human, right? Exactly. Right? They were Muslim because Muslim is one, same thing like a human. If you define human, say, okay, that fits, same thing here. Right. A Muslim is one who submits his or her will submits. to the one creator. That's it. And uh, when speaking to some uh, like Dr. Gerald Dirks and others, these were big um, people in the church, deacon, you know, doctors in divinity and whatnot. And then they go and look at some of these words. They go into the Aramaic and the right. Greek. Uh, what they find is that this, and you've, I think, also pointed this out before. Many people who've studied this, they've said that even those Christians at the time, this was something that were a label that was put upon them. And then there was people of the Sunnah. They were people of the way. They were people the who were trying, just, just like we have the sunnah, right. the way, people who were many original people who are cry, trying to be Christ-like, just like we right. try to follow the way, the sunnah exactly. of Muhammad. They have people who are trying to follow the way of Jesus, yeah. of pure monotheism. Right. But then you had the fight, and then the people who believed in the Unitarians, like the right. Bosnians, people from you right. know, my neck of the woods there. Right. Islam Hungarians. Came. Hungarians. Yep. These were people who were monotheists. Till today. There's to, big, right? huge numbers. There's huge numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. those are, then you had those people who try to be Christ like, who really yep. try, not worshiping Jesus, but worshiping the God Jesus right. worshiped. And then when Islam comes, it fit like a glove, and they accepted the final messenger. That's it. Prophet and Muhammad, peace Prophet, be upon him. Yeah, peace be upon him all. Yeah. Before I go on, there was one thing that he said is very correct, that we believe in Jesus. We, we love Jesus yep. as a mighty messenger. This is a correct statement that Akon made. Do you want to elaborate on that? No doubt, no doubt. Uh, Jesus, Yeshua, Isa, right, is, is a, a very important, one of the five strong prophets that were sent. They were sent to mankind. So he's not just any prophet. He's a special prophet that came. And he is the one. And look at the fairness. I want people to just please, please, just pay attention. Just ponder over this. If you don't take anything from this podcast, take this one part. Yeah. Do you think if Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is let's say how you say that he's not a prophet okay some people say amazing system yes everything wow the quran makes sense this book is amazing what you guys are saying cool but you know i don't know prophet muhammad wouldn't it make sense to try to focus people towards you if you're the prophet call people towards you to for the promise of salvation everything whatever everything to be focused on you but God says in the Quran, وَمَا يَنْتِقْوَانِ الْحَوَىٰ He doesn't speak from his own desire. Pay attention. So Prophet Muhammad said that the one who's coming back is Jesus, not him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is dead and he's buried in Medina. You can go and see his grave. Yet the one who was saved and raised, and he will, I mean, raised to the heavens, and he'll come back, okay, to fight the uh, the Jal or the Antichrist is Prophet Jesus. Now imagine Prophet Muhammad could have said, no, I'm coming back. I'm going to be resurrected. I'll be the one in the center. I'll be... No. He said it'll be Jesus. Why? He died. No one's going to check it after, you know. It's because this is... He was truthful. Because it was not about him. It's about what God said. It's about what is the truth. If I want to make things about me, about my religion, my way, I'll make sure that it's all about me. That's how it is. Human beings are self-centered. Right? If I'm if I'm doing, you're the host of the show. Okay, you invite me on, but it's about you're running this show. People, it's about them. Akon, his music is about him. Paul, whatever, it's about him. Everything is about them when they portraying and they're selling something, they're marketing something. Look at Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said, Jesus, come back. Look how important is the second coming of Jesus. It's gonna be He's going to be the one who kills the Antichrist. He's going to be the one who leads the Muslims at that time. 
this is I want them to really think about the honesty and the truthfulness of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mm -hmm. I really want them to ponder about this absolutely the last and final messenger sent to mankind taking nothing away from Jesus but he was sent at his time That's it. for the people at that time and you can't be a Muslim unless you love and believe in Jesus 100% you, you cannot be peace a be Muslim you cannot be even you can say I believe in Muhammad peace be upon him but I don't believe in Jesus you are not a Muslim yeah. what do you mean but Muhammad peace be upon him the one he's the one no you cannot be a Muslim mm -hmm. we all will have different cultures we all will speak different languages we all will be born in different places but at the end of the day he all he made sure that no matter what circumstance or area or religion that you follow that there was always the one God at the top of the ladder now this is religion and always never forget this look at it like a navigation right we all go into the same place but there's different directions to get there so I can't look at you and say okay because you're Jewish that okay, you're not spiritually sown or you're not going to heaven or whatever place that is or because you're Buddhist or because of whatever. At the end of the day, we all have this one thing that we all follow that there's a most high, right? There's a God that we, you know, that we give praises to and he's the reason why we want to become better for everyone else to better ourselves in the eyes of his. And I'll ask, even if it's yourself, even if you believe that I'm God, it's okay. Because in actuality, we are gods. We create life, we whatever. And if you want to be better for yourself and do the right thing so you can feel good about yourself, then so be it. But God is more of an energy, more of a spirit. It's to enlighten you to want to be better for yourself and everybody else that's attached to you. People hear you, say, hear you saying some stuff in Arabic. You've actually, you're fluent in Arabic. Uh, you read the Quran in Arabic. You've been studying uh, Islam for, you got a master's in uh, theology. No, not a master's. Uh, a, a bachelor, working on a master's. Yeah, working on a master's. Um, in, counseling in the in the counseling yeah. but uh, bachelors i believe in islamic, in studies. islamic studies so um you were saying some things in, in arabic i when said, you heard him say i seek refuge in allah for what he's saying this is shirk okay this is shirk and we cannot i know he's he claims to be a muslim but actually to be honest he's not a muslim by what he's saying and i know people are going to get upset what i'm saying but because he said basically you can claim to be a god you are a god in a sense mm. this is not this is and there's been um certain muslim sects so-called muslims but they're not muslim who claim some of these concepts. nation the nation you got nation of islam you got the five percenters yeah. before that the concept of wahdat al wujud that god is in you and you're you know you're in god and all that ibn arabi had some weird you know concepts like that and I know people don't like this I don't we don't we don't we shouldn't make takfir on people right but this is blatant shirk when someone says that this takes them out of the fold of Islam so I know people are gonna get upset but this guy is not a Muslim <laughs> you know and I'm, I'm responsible for what I say I don't have a problem to say that you know because I know sometimes we play we just like we're cool he's cool this and that but he said basically that first of all the mistake is he said well, we all have the same path I cannot tell you not going to have, no if you're not following the correct path guess what we don't have the same path you're not going to heaven i don't even know if i'm going to heaven bro i mean at some point because i'm a muslim because i say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah if i die upon this i will go to heaven yes but i might still have some time to serve to for my sins i pray and i hope that i don't but look at the arrogance of someone to say that we're all going to heaven there is one God. What 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 concept? You can you claim that the concept of God that Buddhists have or Hindus have is the same as the pure monotheism that a Muslim has? No. This is this is intellectually um, is dishonest, right? This is ignorant. It's not because I claim. It's not about me. I, I, I go and st go and read the book. It's not about me. It's not that I have the audacity to sit here in this this seat and make that claim. This is by what the Prophet said, anyone who associated partners with God. Allah has made Jannah, paradise, upon them haram, meaning forbidden. Anyone who says this has, so it's not me, I'm just conveying the message, yeah? so that people don't get upset that Brother Gabriel Roman is making takfir. But indeed, claiming that we are gods and in some way we have God, this is horrible. 
This is what's the cut? What are we? I mean, is this something now that if he's uh, what does Akon need to do now? I mean, if he hears this, he, he this, basically if he it, if he hears is he, that if he's saying I'm saying this metaphorically, I don't mean uh, this that. What do you? What do we? Well, he does. He's explaining what he means. Yeah, he's explaining the concept. First of all, in having the the idea that everyone's going to heaven and that everyone believes in one God, so we're all the same, basically just different stories, that is itself shit. What, what right away comes to mind is, This is the original language, 100%. we have it. And Allah is saying that whoever chooses a way other than uh, then submission is surrendered to the Creator, Islam, exactly. never will it be... And look at this, very simple. Never will be accepted. Never accepted. And in the hereafter, they'll be among the... This Losers. is clear... And then there's another verse that comes to mind in the Dina in the Lahi al Islam. In the Dina in the Lahi al Islam. The, the only way of life, meaning the only way you can get That's it. to paradise is, is not all roads lead to Rome. It's it. through submission and surrender, not to a human being. Yeah. Trinity is to surrender. Pure monotheism. Yeah. So he's made up his own religion, basically. And this is the danger, and this is how other religions have come about. Imagine, imagine now some people are going to have aconism or something like that. Mm. They're going to say, this is the correct understanding. And this is uh, this is wrong. Um, just what he said it, can, is it is it good now? Can people see why we're discussing this? Because I hope they this do. Is, this is important now. To I hope make they these, do uh, corrections. To because see, in the in the free world today, everyone says that we're all the same. We're all going the same place. Okay, let's test this theory. If you guys think really believe they're all going to the same place by following all this, okay. So how about we just all follow Islam? Because it all leads to the same place, ain't it? So mm -hmm. let's just all follow Islam. It's the purest, the cleanest. It's got the most academic uh, evidence for it, historical evidence. Let's just all follow Islam. If you really, let's all just follow Islam. Khalas. People are not going to want to do mm -hmm. that, isn't it? So actually, you know, this is just a uh, uh And I don't, I don't want people fallacy. to get the, the, the wrong impression or wrong idea. This is out of, we're saying it's out of the love. Yeah, we care for you. If yeah. not, you know. But but this is messed up. Sorry, yeah. like it's really bad, you know, to believe that you claim to be God or that so, God is inside of you. Or so you're then all that gods first in a part, way. this is um, the this Christian is not going to agree with him. Yeah, <laughs> because there's contradictory beliefs here. Because even even though we can work together on many things, the sexualization of children and you know the the family decay, and we come together with uh, with Christians and other people of other faith, we could do that, right? Yeah. But now we can get the elephant out of the room and say, look. You and I've sat with you know friends of mine from from a long time ago. I said, okay, let's get the elephant out of the room. We agree. Exactly. You believe I'm going to hell if I don't believe that Jesus is, is your Lord and Savior. That's what they believe. Yeah, but I do believe in Jesus. But it's just not that He's a God or a little Son of God. So then we get into a discussion. But I respect you that you t you love me that much. You claim to love me that you're going to tell me the truth rather than me believing. You know, you you want me to to right. understand, and then I tell you the same thing. There's a clear hadith where the Prophet Muhammad didn't he say he said anyone who hears of me. Right and doesn't accept me as the final messenger. Right. So you hear the evidence has been right. laid out, not the distorted right. stuff from CNN, Fox. Right, it's been made clear, like you're hearing it now, and you reject him. He there's a clear statement from what did he say that they'll be you're, go, you're done, you're going to hell. That's, I mean, it's sensitive for a lot of for a lot of people, oh, but okay. this is but out of the we love. We care for you. We, we want care. we want you yeah. we want you to to at least. I think people respect that too. Yeah, at least now, take the time to to do some now investigation. Now we can talk. Now we right? got this out of the way. Let's work together on on many uh, different platforms on things that are that we agree on. We can agree on. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So and there's a lot of things we have in common. No right? doubt. Yeah. No doubt. But this is uh, this this is a, a, a major more than a blunder here with Akon. <laughs> this is shirk. This is shirk. Yeah. Define the shirk is setting up rivals, partners. The this God. is the unforgivable um, sin that if yeah. someone dies. So on, he's saying that we don't believe Jesus is God. Then he turns and says, well, we are gods in a way. Mm -hmm. So that's <laughs> what you're doing. So you don't believe Jesus is God, who's much better than you. He said, mm -hmm. that's what we believe. We don't believe Jesus is God. And then he goes and turns to him and says, well, you know, in a way we are gods and we are gods and what you're doing. What can he say? Like, if he's saying, I don't mean it like that. Is there a content? What, what, from what well, first of all, it's not about, you know, why well, I didn't mean it. Because your words mean something. They mm -hmm. matter. Like right. you can't say talak and say I didn't mean it. Yeah, I didn't mean it, right? You can't say div I divorced you and then I didn't mean it. Well, you so can't words say are heavy in Islam. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna kill you, but then, oh, I, I didn't mean They'll it. They'll lock right? you up. They lock you up. You can't. The police come. <laughs> that's a good. <laughs> cannot. That, the police come and you yeah, just said no. You matters. take it back. I was just joking. Yeah. So you know, God has given us a rationale and yeah. reason. Things matter. Don't words, joke with this. Don't yeah. joke with this. This is not a joke. I would matter. advise him to say Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah to make his ghusl and to desist from every kind and to study. 
actually, if you read the Quran, that, I mean, this is a good advice. This is easy. You yeah. say it every day if you're praying five times a day. If you're right. not just in Juma, most even if you're just going Juma, right. you're saying the Shahada. Say yeah. it again, and now meaning, make this correction. Make a Tawbah, like yes. meaning like repent. Say, okay, this is wrong. I can't fix this it. This is what you need to do. And see, the thing is. I can almost guarantee that he doesn't read the Quran with understanding, mm -hmm. like a translation at least, right? Because in the Quran you have all this, what we're talking, by the way, people, you know, this is not me and you talking. We're taking these and giving you evidences. You're quoting, I'm quoting from the Quran. So don't think that it's like two of us are sitting here and just pointing fingers. We're just messengers, right? After the, there's You're no more prophets. You're not trying to smash Akon now or pick no, on him. No, but or what bully, he's saying, trying to like bully it's a Akon. responsibility, you know. Uh -huh. We cannot say this. Like we want him to fix himself. But the problem is, you know, with uh, this kind of lifestyle and, you know, people just mess around, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're getting programmed with all these rappers and everyone's thinking they're a god, demi-god, semi-god, all this stuff, and that creeps in. You're, you're programmed. You get hit with these uh, you're an diseases, idol. these spiritual diseases. You're an idol, right? Everyone's yeah so centered towards you mm -hmm. where this ego takes hold of you and now you start saying dangerous things like that like what's his name Keanu when he said I am a god who a said that Keanu West right at one oh, point Kanye right? West Kanye West right? and then he walked into a pole and smashed his head in it <laughs> and Kanye, skin, you know? Kanye West so Kanye West, he also said... Yeah, he said he's God, right? Yeah. And then he walked into a pole. He but according to the Bible, he should be then... The, according to the Bible... He he's should not be, a Christian. He's not a Christian. He now. left Christianity. And, and he apostated from Christianity. He's a, by he's a heretic. By that statement. Yeah. People playing with these... Right. Yeah, according to Christianity, you know? Yeah. And then he, he <laughs> Kanye West ends up hitting his head. Hitting his head. It's on, it's on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy, man. Yeah. You know, may God help him and guide him. I mean, I mean, I want the best for everybody. This is um, <laughs> not on any malicious attempts that we have here, or trying to put someone down. Put I, I don't, know, you know, yeah, we're just. Uh, but this is uh, this is some especially with the youth when they hear someone like this saying these things, and then next thing you know, you got kids mimicking because they mimic. They see you yeah. and they start thinking, "Yeah, I'm a god. You're a okay. god. We're all god." You can't say this is right. like you said. This is shirk. Yeah, shirk. And we live on tohid, pure monotheism, and mm -hmm. and that monotheism is what's gonna with our with um, our living a morally upright life. We're human beings. We do good deeds, but it's not by our good deeds. It's by God's grace God's and mercy. mercy. We're, we're all sinners. We're, sinner. yeah, we we're all. all. We have so many mistakes. You know, it's sometimes you know we know ourselves. We know we're we're not sitting here being all godly and think we're all good. May Allah and cover our mistakes and our sins. You know, we're not worthy Amen. of that. But His mercy is so great that we hope that he'll accept us you know this is mm -hmm. this is what we hope for i mean let's uh let's continue on great advice for akon god willing and anybody else who's fallen into that may god almighty help protect us from, yeah, I mean, from from this I mean. and may he take the advice uh and see the good that we're trying to deliver to him and others and that tells you everything because we know man didn't create that mm. Okay, let's say an alien created that. Okay, who created the alien? Mm. It, it, it goes, like the Big Bang thing is like it, the whole thing, but like, right? Who pushed the fucking button, bro? You're Period. telling me just from nothingness there was this. There was some, something. Something had to start it, somewhere. There was it, somethingness. Thank you. Is impossible, so bro. That's how did that somethingness possible. even be created? Right. Like whenever you in doubt, just think about that, and it'll bring you all the way back again <laughs> yeah. because you can't explain that. I. I think, though, a part of the reason why people may land on God or want to believe that something did start from nothing is because we want explanations. Our species wants answers. That's why they call it's, it faith. It's, That's it's why exactly they call it why faith. They call it faith. Dude, it's hard to <laughs> That's not why. know why right. we're here and what we're doing. That's kind it's of really, depressing. It's really Plato. I want it's, an answer. It's <laughs> what are we doing here? How did we get here? But That's what I'm saying. Humans, we're, natural, we're nosy creatures. And, and I'm, I'm happy to, to see these kind of conversations because people are talking about this, that, and the other, but invite us to the conversations. Invite right. the Muslims to the conversations, people of knowledge, you know, right. people who are also loving to talk about these things, you know, mm. the scholars of Islam and whatnot, and others, you know, like yourself and whatnot, to come and sit and have these proper, because there's a lot of questions here. Some, some, and I like the, the, the points he's making, you know, who pushed the button, who right. started everything. And then, right. But then the one thing about the, the faith in Islam is not blind faith. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not a scholar, so they should invite the scholars. I think we have some good scholars that could 
answer their questions and but see that's the thing there's such a disconnect between these youth and the scholars yeah. sadly and hopefully we we're, that's what we're trying to do i guess bridge that we gap. try to bridge that gap yes yeah now it's faith 100 percent. you have those who believe in the unseen but to reach that level there's always some connection and god has made it quite simple it's not so complicated because he has given us the ability to observe and to reason and to understand and people say well he says we want explanations yeah exactly but there's a difference between explanation and evidence right people can explain things as much as they want people would be like that's a good explanation but do i really is that an evidence do i believe why god the almighty when he created everything and he has sent his messengers and his message he has given evidence it's simple i think it's very simple because see people are at different levels of comprehension and rationale you got very advanced people academics phds research evidence-based scientific method and you got your typical dishwasher and street sweeper who is very simple right both have a brain but they both have the ability to observe and when you read through the quran allah god the almighty is focusing people to use observation to look around specifically in creation and in themselves as well Allah is saying, look around. And today in the morning, I was just looking at a video of a statement of Imam Shafi, rahimahullah. And he said that people want the existence of, you know, of God in the creation of the heavens and the stars and the moon, which is really amazing if you think about it, just to study that, just to look at just sunrise and sunset, the perfection of that system, how it changes with the season how at some point it's constant different parts of the world is different just that that complexity of that system there's no way be it dishwasher or phd candidate or doctor they're both gonna be like man there's no way that this is just something happened and i want some explanation right away you will know that there is a creator come on if you're honest enough you will know there's a creator just by observing that so imam shafi said forget about that he said for me it's just in the leaf of of a the the dude tree he said he said why he said look at it he said the cow will eat it and pure milk will come out of it right and then he said the bee will take from its pollen and the amazing honey will come out of it and then he said the uh, the um, I guess uh, the worm that becomes you know into what you take the uh, the um, what is it the uh, the material that you make clothes yeah, from yes right from the worms you know he's like it will eat it and it will give you um, the string you know I don't know what it's called I forget forgive me mm -hmm. and he said look at that. They're all eating the same leaf and look what you're getting out of it. Oh, and the, the deer will eat it and out of the deer you'll make musk, pure musk. Mm -hmm. They're all eating the same. Look, look at that system. They're all eating the same thing, processing the same thing. Yeah, look at it. Pure milk, pure honey, pure misk or a perfume and the string that you make clothes from right amazing he said just from that you can know that there is a creator mm -hmm. just from the simple observation subhanallah that's a whole different discussion we can go down how people got to the state of just disbelief in something that's just so obvious and then and then giving people who almost um credibility and people think that they're intelligent coming from a state of academia or whatnot because you have a lot of academics and right. others i mean it, it shows that you can be the dumbest person smart in many different right. facets but you can be almost like uh just crippled in this area of common sense you know to deny when the signs are all around you i, th I don't think it's being dumb i think as the prophet said so that is it's 
arrogance arrogance denying the truth so it's just that that's that that's that the kibir now that arrogance right. now you're too too proud right. too arrogant to go ahead and and that's accept. why um with the academia it was in 2000 and early 2000 uh, steinberg whatever his name is he had that documentary intelligence expelled uh, no Not intelligence allowed yes right yes. and he went and researched this whole uh, mafia and academia that expel uh, creationists yes. right who through their studies of the universe or whatever science they were in they said look we can't go with this our darwin is we have to believe that there's a creator it's because all the evidence is pointing that way so they lost their uh, funding they got kicked out of the academic circles it was like a mafia so that that's a really and i point that documentary because it shows like it's a mirage that's set up like oh if you're smart you're intelligent that now you deny god no right there's actually many of these academ people exactly. from academia that they come to the conclusion, exactly. but they're shut down. They're blacklisted exactly by the Boycotted. academic mafia. Yeah, they lose everything. Yeah, and then they've had studies, the Oxford study, and others that now you know multi-million dollar studies that confirm that the innate that's an innate nature to believe right in you're a like higher being. Wired, you're, you're to wired have to believe. This. You got the God spot, they call right. it. Yeah. So um, this is uh, really profound. And just one last thing here. Islam provides all the evidence, everything you need to know that it is from the truth, but the faith comes in in the unseen. Now, you don't right. see... There's a lot of details after that. There's 100%. a lot of details, right? 100%. So the driving force, it gets you there, but now there's some things you have to have faith. Yeah. You got faith. You can't see the hellfire. Exactly. You can't see paradise. Exactly. exactly. You can't see... You, the you, angels. You can't see the angels. Things. You're not you didn't seeing see your, the prophets. You in this life, them. you can't see your creator. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Um, and then people, um, yeah, this is uh, some really uh, good things for people to contemplate and think about. We're almost done. Let's uh, continue on. Like lone despair. Void, of, yeah. void of, of that, purpose, of that and purpose and magic in life is, is it would make me crazy. Right. Yeah, but, but, but there's also, I think, beauty in that if you can find it. We're, 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 we're impossible. Humans are impossible. Right. We're on this planet. As far as we know, we're the only intelligent species as far as we can see and we can't explain it we don't know what we're doing here and so there's a, a reason to be depressed about that no, but no, also no. there's a reason to go it, damn that's that's, 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 that's significant which way you go that's, in, that's incredibly magic. cool he said a few things uh we're the only intelligent species i want, I want you to touch upon that and then the other thing that uh, we don't know what we're doing here mm. uh, why are we here pretty much right so obviously we're not the only ones because God did create what's called the jinn. I thought about that exactly. exactly right now, their point. their reason and rationale are not exactly like ours. We're superior, mm -hmm. and we've been given certain knowledge, and that is clearly evident from what God has told us. Uh, however, um, purpose-wise, we don't know what we're doing. Of course, we know exactly what we're doing. That's the whole point, to discover what you need to do and to try to do it. You live your life in trying to do mm -hmm. it. No one can claim that we're doing amazing or perfect. Some people are better. Some people are not so better. Fattakullah mastatat. Fear Allah as much as you can. Do your best. Right? Now, are we comparing people who now have the guidance versus those who don't? Right. So the people are having the guidance, even those are not, you know, perfect, right? We're yeah. just struggling. We're trying. We're trying to do the best. But at least you know the direction. But you imagine know the path. if you don't have Islam. If you don't have Islam, you're like you're lost. Okay, so now he's talking from that perspective. I now. think so. I think a lot of and this ties into something I'm very passionate about, mental health. Yeah. I think a lot of the depression, anxiety is just that void of not knowing your purpose, as you said. That's a good analysis. So if people fill it up with alcohol, drugs, sex, this, that because there's an existential crisis that has hit humanity you you don't know what your purpose is yeah you might do sports you might do a podcast you might this but these are very temperate then you get bored again you're like okay what's next and that's why ethics and morality change so much because people are chasing the new hit because it's not enough but when you have your true purpose and you understand that you're supposed to be worshiping your creator and you're supposed to spread this message, then this satisfies that existential void. There's gonna be always work to be done, 
But I think most people are depressed today because of this. Their souls are not understanding. They're not in in sync with that fitra, with the purpose that God created for them. And the souls are screaming out of pain. And this is what depression is. L Logan's a good example of somebody who was brought up in a Christian household, but things just don't make sense. doesn't add up. The answers are not not there. Right. Uh, he would qualify great for many people who go through the same thing. I've interviewed, you know, hundreds of them. I'm sorry. You're one of them. You're born in a Christian household. Back. This is not to put down right. uh, anybody from any other religions, but this is just an obvious fact. Mm. You also you were getting answers to your questions. You were talking to the higher ups, if I remember correctly. This, that, and the other. Islam had the answers. Mm -hmm. If Logan comes and with an open heart, and open mind, I'm looks sorry. at Islam objectively, he's looking for the. Tr if he's looking sincerely, asking the Creator for guidance. You think he'll find what you found in Islam? I think if he's sincere, if he's sincere. No doubt about it. No mm -hmm. doubt about it. I don't. I, I. I often think about that. I think because when you look at many of the, the man-made religions, and you look what they call you to ancestor worship, pagan worship, the self worship, all this stuff. And when you look at Islam, I don't think any intelligent human being, who doesn't have this arrogance, right. who's yearning inside, and he's asking the Creator guide me. I want to know why I'm here. That the Creator wouldn't guide him. I think you have to. Take one. one it reminds me. Sorry, reminds me. If you take one step, God take ten towards you. Right. The, according to the Hadith, right? right? So you come walking. God will come. Allah will come running. Is this correct? One hundred percent. I remember earlier when I was looking into Islam mm -hmm. and just looking back at the the first stage in my life. I was arrogant because I used to fight with the Muslims, and they would give me explanations, and I would. But I couldn't see it. Were you an Islamophobe? I did not like Islam because that's how we were raised in Romania. That's why I asked because many Romanians right. and other so even, even people in the area in the Balkans, right. they don't. They're they're just naturally they're right. born and bred like almost Islamophobe. But I remember the guys who told me about Islam, they told me the same things because Islam is not like complicated. It's not like some guy's gonna tell you one thing and another guy's gonna tell you something else. It's the same thing. Are people from that area more hard-headed, more like they stubborn? Are, they are. <laughs> it's okay. But the weird thing is, I think, due to the fact that I was arrogant, I couldn't see it. However, when I started going through a depression mm. and some problems, my mind opened up and I was humbled. So now when the Bosnian brother talked to me, I saw it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's because I was humbled that arrogance was taken away from me because I was in depression. Mm -hmm. All that macho cool thing that i had before fighting with them so you guys muslims this and yeah what is this islam even though they tell you what well, islam is god one god islam is all prophets had the same message the same thing i couldn't see it yet when i was humbled and i was pretty much on my knees and suffering at that time my ears and my mind was too and i was like okay makes sense mm -hmm. big difference big difference so uh Logan Paul, uh, we we covered that. There is another creation. People call it the spirit world and whatnot, yeah. the jinn. Right. And then also this part about... A lot of uh, people get it. Like, they don't get this point. So, because Aladdin and the genie yeah. and all that. They're like, whoa, what is that, right? Uh -huh. I really... It explains so many things in this world. So many UFOs, oh unidentified. God, so could, many could we say issues. unidentified flying objects? It might be jinn, yeah, yeah. possession, so many things. Uh, mental health issues, wow, uh, haunted uh, houses, cemetery. All that's explained yep. by this belief mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. in the. Yeah, jinn. don't don't look at Aladdin and the lamp. Don't forget the lamp. Disney World. Forget about Disney World. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the last thing that they talked about, and I want to touch upon because it has me go back. When we talked about this, was Michael Jackson. Okay. Akon, <laughs> you remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Akon was uh, mentioning uh, some stories about Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. And Michael Jackson, when we talked, we spoke about him last time. Bring us up to speed. What happened with Michael Jackson towards the end of his life? You mentioned okay. you had an inside source or something. Right. Jermaine Jackson. Yeah, so some people have been saying that someone said this and no, he's not real. And another brother, I'm not going to name them. I don't want yeah. to get into any discussions, fights. I'm just giving you what I know. Okay, so they're saying, no, Brother Gabriel, you're wrong. Michael Jackson never became Muslim. Also, they said, we spoke to who, I don't know who, and he said, you're wrong, and he never became Muslim, and whatever, right? So, again, I'm going to repeat the issue, the story, right? And I'm not going to name the brother, mm -hmm. even though I know his name. And I, he was my neighbor when I was in Abu Dhabi. And he was basically working with Michael Jackson's brother. Jermaine, Jermaine. Jackson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he would come every like two months because basically he was going to Africa and doing these documentaries. He was the cameraman. 
Okay, and he told me, look, we keep it on the hush, but he became Muslim. And I know, like, I'm with Jermaine. Like, I know he became the guy. So this is Muslim. the cameraman for Jermaine, Jermaine Jackson, yeah. who was your neighbor in Abu Dhabi. Yes, exactly. Getting this information. Right. So you'd be going working two, three months with Jermaine. He would come back to Abu Dhabi because his wife was a teacher and his son was there. Sometimes my wife would uh, babysit her, uh, their son and would, they would play with my kids. And yeah, it's like, we know he became Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You know, for sure, 100%. That's what he told me. I believed him because he was working with Jermaine. But they said, we keep it on on the low. Mm -hmm. I mean, why am I saying it? Because <laughs> I know he didn't tell me, don't tell anyone. But he said, we just keep it on the low, whatever. Yeah. That's the way it is. And in the end, Allahu Alam. But this is what he has told me. I believe him. And I hope. Not because he was like, we all, <laughs> come on, let's be honest. You know, people, they, they, they liked Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh, I felt I felt he got dealt a very bad hand at the end. A lot of uh -huh. people start saying uh, some things came out after that that yeah. he got set up. Even that guy stuff. Well, I think he committed suicide or something. Which like that one? Young the boy. Other? The young boy that you uh -huh. know his parents were trying to get him to say things yeah. that he did things to him and all mm -hmm. that. I don't know. I think that's what happened. He was in huge depression. The way I was analy analyzing it, I was thinking like, hey, you never. I mean, you don't. You you never know. I mean, did Allah, uh, the Almighty, guide him at the end? At the end, now before, because a lot of times people will come to Islam, they'll have that awakening moment, but then they fall in back into all of the trips and tracks of the dunya mm -hmm. and that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, he took the shahada, and then Allah took him because we know when someone comes into Islam, yeah. all their yeah. previous sins, sins are like a newborn baby. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Allah. So knows. personally, I believe it, but yeah. Allah knows best. Personally, mm -hmm. what the brother told me he was very reliable, brother hardworking, yeah. good family. But, but J Jermaine Jackson is definitely, we know he's, he's, a, he's a Muslim. You know what I'm yeah. So this is his brother, Michael Jackson, and this is, you're getting it from the cameraman. So, all right. So we covered a lot here. Alhamdulillah. Covered a lot. Um, you're also, you, before we conclude, talk to us about um, you you're helping to develop uh, or motivated you to, you're helping to develop high value men. Mm. Right, with uh, these uh Courses, courses tra yeah. trainings that you do. Let's talk a little bit about that. Right. So we have the Muslim Alpha Man course. Mm -hmm. Again, people get caught in the semantics. Please, yeah. guys, leave the semantics alone. It's just like the Dean Show. Why you call it the Dean Show? Is it the Dean Show? It's the Dean Show, man. You know, it's been going on for well, 18 years, mashallah, or something. Alhamdulillah, Allah, you know, Allah barik. Mm -hmm. So it's helping men to reestablish their masculinity, to mm -hmm. be men the way Allah created us on the natural way. Men are men. Women are women. Women are not men. Men are not women. Women cannot do what men do. Men, you know, cannot do what women do. We can do certain things. What are you talking about, brother? We're living at the time of uh, nah, how man. many hundred plus genders? I would have been there. No way. No way. Let's let's just use the head that God gave yeah. us. It's the easiest, most clear things, most evident thing. Okay. So in these courses, we help men to change their mindset, to come back to the fitra, to build value in themselves, to get close to their Creator and to work on themselves, their personal development, their physical, spiritual, emotional development, psychological, psychiatric, you know, ability, cognition, um, how to just become a better man who can contribute. See, it's not just building value and just keeping it to yourself. It's what you can do to spread the message of Islam, to have a purpose. That's what the Muslim Alpha Man focuses on, gives men a purpose, changes their mindset wherever you are you don't have to have a bugatti you don't have to have be top g and all that right there's so much talk about masculinity right now when we start talking about these things and we're working and doing these things because we notice that young children young boys in muslim countries they lost their their understanding of what it is it, it is to be a man mm. this whole talk of red pill it was not even existent yet okay it was not even existent it's not because i said it's because when you look at how the Prophet was, how were the Sahaba? They were real men. And their women were real women. Okay? And people try to use different exceptions here and there. Yesterday I was talking to the brothers, you know, was the typical Muslim feminist uh, objection. Khadija radiallahu anha was the, was the uh, you know, businesswoman, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you want to be like Khadija? Because, you know, they, they quote that, right? It's like, yes. so you find all the TikToks, all the Khadija, I'm the businesswoman, I'm the this, meaning I can go outside, I can do whatever I want, I can put makeup, I can be a, you know, I can leave the house, I don't need to listen to any man, I'm independent woman. This is rubbish, this doesn't exist. If you want to be like Khadija, then really study her, 
So Khadija radiallahu anha, number one, very obedient to the Prophet never raised her voice to the Prophet and therefore Allah sent salam to him through the angel specifically to for her. her. Yes, yeah. right, because she never raised her voice, never nagged him. She wasn't him. belligerent? She wasn't like that. You know, so if you want to be she like her, argumentative. no, no, no. He'll say one thing. They say no, like and that's why 20. Allah gave her a special place in Jannah where there's no loud noises. And the ulama say it's because she never raised her voice to the Prophet. Oh, that's a really powerful point. So if yeah. you want to take this, is the this is the one of the mothers of the believers. That's it. Example. If you're citing her, then okay, be like her. Okay, so start taking these notes now on right. this. How she what got her that honor. And that Allah sent now exactly. salams to her. Wow, that's. And funny. the next point is she never herself gone and did all these things because that's how she married the Prophet because she hired him. Was she shaking hands, hugging, no. hugging she, with she men? She was hiring men. She was she hired them, and the Prophet Sallallahu would go and do things, and another man, other men would basically run the errands so, for her. So she didn't have uh, sit downs. Not like, like face that. to face and with with men. Not like just mixing, going all this, putting stuff, pushing, shoving, talking loud, being all out there doing stuff. Mm -hmm. She was she had what's called haya or this this bashfulness, right? Mm -hmm. So let's look into these details. You these are facts. Explain. People can go facts, check out facts, right? And I'll throw a curveball in the end. If you want to be like Khadija radiallahu anha, okay, then start cashing out your bank account, sister, because Khadija radiallahu anha. She spent all her money on the Prophet Sallallahu and his da'wah. Yeah? Everything. Mm. Every single cent on him. When the Muslims got boycotted, everything she had, akhi, she spent it on the Prophet Sallallahu mm -hmm. Because he was a high value man. She believed in his mission. The Prophet Sallallahu would not be someone who's like sleeping till 11 and doing nothing and no mission or nothing. Just, yeah, I'm the man. Come on, give me the money. No. He was a man on a mission and she found so much value in him that she put everything yeah. so if you want to be like Khadija my sisters <laughs> it starts <laughs> but of course a, a real man who's on a mission you know not some um, sorry any loser who's sleeping all the time and he's mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to do I'm depressed I'm lost you know may Allah help the brothers you know Ameen. we have some brothers who need uh, support yeah. may mm -hmm. Allah guide us all Ameen. but so that's my little curveball for the Ameen. for the feminist uh, Muslims <laughs> subhanAllah <laughs> Uh, so this is uh, developing men at a time where people are in a state of confusion, confusion. not knowing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this course, inshallah, is focused on that. We do also some practical things. We go yeah. like horse riding. We do some MMA, some, you know, yeah. uh, jiu-jitsu. We just had some nice uh, here at uh, Redzovic, uh, you know, academy here, mashallah. We did some nice... Uh, some nice rolling, about, about 15 rounds, mashallah. mashallah. So we encourage men to, to be to be strong. Mm -hmm. Men have to be strong, yet merciful. Have limits, yet kind, right? Be uh, assertive, yet loving and passionate, right? You see the balance, yeah? This is a real man, right? To have uh, courage, yet you know, no arrogance, right? These These are the... Sifat or the attributes of a real man. Not that I say, because when we look and study again the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi specifically, you'll find these in him. So work on that and mental health, counseling, getting the man to get out of that mind where they're always just stuck there, right? Stuck, right? Be brave. Who cares if people criticize you? As Allah said in the Quran, don't, they do not fear the blame of the blamers, mm. right? Do not fear people. As long as you are trying to do your best, you're going to make mistakes. I guarantee you, you will make mistakes. <laughs> and that's why a lot of people are in this limbo because like, what if I make a mistake? Of course you're going to make a mistake. The, stuff for the Prophet Sallallahu was corrected by Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Hmm. Right? The Prophet Sallallahu was corrected in the Quran and it's there till the day of judgment for everyone to read. And he was corrected. Who are you not to make? You're going to make mistakes, but yeah. don't stop. Don't stop. Keep pushing. A woman is not, because we are making mistakes as men, and we have problems. We, we should recognize that we have a lot of issues as men, a lot of weaknesses. But guess what? That doesn't justify now for them to become men and <laughs> to take our positions mm -hmm. because they're not created to do that. They cannot do it. They cannot do it. And if they try to do it, the Prophet said already that it's going to be a failing system. Mm. Where people don't like it, they like it, they try to explain it. That's what the Prophet said. So, Work towards that. Let's help men and help women to be women. This is the beauty. This is the amazing thing. 
the greatest scholars and warriors of this ummah have come from a woman. Look mm-hmm. at the great value that Allah has given women. Mm-hmm. Yet the society is convincing that you're a slave and some maid and you should be ashamed of yourself and you should be a man. That's when you're going to get your real value. But I thought you hate men. <laughs> but mm-hmm. you want to be a man. Look at the contradiction and the confusion. Audhu billah. Mm-hmm. Subhanallah. So where, where can people, if they want to get more information? Right. So MuslimAlpha.com on all my videos on, you know, just type Gabriel Romani in Google. You find my social media. The links are always there. And uh, you can sign up. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, brother. Barakallah. Thank you again. It's good Allah as bless. always to have you uh, always, yeah. here with, uh, with us. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters So we got roof number one completed as you've seen Alhamdulillah This Ummah project is garnering so much support Now remember there are five buildings here And next is building number two The roof needs to be replaced That's where the masjid will be I mean <laughs> Quite a walk. It's like a block, a whole block. block. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Hey, you got four acres here. Yeah. What's your. Uh, I, I don't know. It's tremendous. Inshallah. Allah bless you. Allah bless you. Allah bless you. Allah bless Allah I cannot leave without giving you a gift. If you're not yet Muslim and you're tuning in to see what these Muslims are talking about and you like a free copy of the Quran, go ahead and visit thedeanshow.com. We'll take care of the postage and everything and get it delivered to you. And if you still have some questions about Islam, call us at 1-800-662-4752. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.